Old Alabama Gardener, and in this video, I'm talking about what I do to combat the squash vine borer. Now folks, uh, I know everyone is looking for ways to uh, stop or control the squash vine borer from destroying their squash plants. Now in this video, I'm going to show you what I do to protect my plants, squash plants, from the squash vine borer. Now I already discussed the stink bugs in a different video and I also showed you how I grow my yellow crookneck squash uh, in another video. So at the end of this video I will put some in-screen clickable links to those other two videos. But this particular video now is it's going to be only about the squash vine borer. Now I do have a couple places where I mentioned the stink bug, but it's going to be brief because I want to talk mostly about controlling the squash vine borer. Now some of you still think that the stink bug is what kills your squash plants, but that is not true. The stink bugs do little damage, maybe none, to the plant or to the squash. Now, now yes, I understand that you don't like the stink bugs and you don't like to see them on your plants. So the best thing for you to do then is go watch my video on how to control the stink bugs on squash plants and you'll see what we do there. Now I do want to make one point about the stink bugs. If you think you're going to save your squash plants by killing the stink bugs, then I can pretty much promise you that you will lose your squash plants because you will be attacking the wrong reason, the wrong cause of why your squash plants are dying. Now here is a picture of the adult squash vine borer moth and it is a moth. Now what's unusual about this moth is that it flies in the daytime whereas most moths fly only at night. So how does this moth do its damage? Well during the daylight, it'll come along and it will lay eggs on the stalk or the vine, so what you want to call it, of the squash plant. When those eggs hatch, the worms or worms, if it's more than one, will chew its way into the inner part of the stalk and begin eating the soft inner core of the stalk. Now there's not usually just one, it's usually six or eight uh, worms in there and it doesn't take long for that many worms to kill a squash plant. Now here's a picture of the worm inside the stalk plant. So how does it, how does it, uh, kill the plant, okay? When the worms eat the inner core of the stalk or the long running part of the squash plant, the plant can no longer move water from the roots up and through the stalk and out to the leaves, and therefore the plant dies. Now the plants you see here are, are pretty large. And I do that for a reason. Uh, I like to grow my squash and other plants too up on my back patio 
up on the concrete. And uh, then when they get longer, like you see them here, I can, I can apply my squash vine borer control process and take them out to the big garden and be ready to set them in the garden. If your plants are long enough, uh, I, I would go ahead and remove all of the leaves and blooms up to at least a foot if you've got that much room. Now you don't need to wrap it too tight because as the plant grows that uh, stem is going to, to get a little bit larger, uh, but wrap it secure enough that the aluminum foil covers all the stem uh, and there are no open places uh, for the squash vine borer to get to the stem. Now you see at this one, I, I didn't cover the uh, aluminum foil, but I came back later with a hoe and uh, pulled more soil up over the top of that black potting mix and actually covered over the bottom of the aluminum foil. So here's my row of squash plants. Um, you can see the aluminum foil around the base of each plant. And you can see me picking squash. So it was time to pick squash. And, uh, and I continued picking squash all the way to uh, frost. 
uh, and I also let some go to seed so I would have seed for this coming year. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to su uh, subscribe. There's a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Just click it. And if you would please go ahead and leave a comment down at the bottom. I always like to comment and I always answer every comment. So thank you for watching.